Okay, here we go with example number two. We're gonna add some new concepts, we're gonna add fire groups, we're gonna talk about morale support range. Let's get to it. Before we had a dude who just wanted to shoot another dude. Now we've got a couple dudes, two squads, if you wanna shoot at these other squads over here. So these guys are going to form a fire group together. You can always form a fire group in the same hex. This is multiple squads, multiple units, if you have crews, multiple weapons, okay? They cannot add these fellows in because they're in another hex. Now could if they had a leader. So there's no multi-hex fire groups if you don't have a leader. And, but these guys can get it on together. So they're gonna rock and roll, mark them both as fired. Shooting at these guys, now we add the gunfire factors together. Five plus five is 10. There is a 10 column. If we go roll the dice, they roll a three. That's a C3. Now we can distribute the casualties however we like between these two squads or the, all the units in the hex. So we're going to mark him with a casualty. That's one of the casualties and we're gonna flip him. So it'd be a casualty, take the casualty off and flip him. He goes to his reduced aside. So that was two for him and one for him. That covers the C3. Now we make morale check. What is this mother Russia? Now we make a morale check or morale checks because there are two of them. You can choose the order in which to make the morale checks. We have the same penalties as last time. This guy will have a one off of his morale for the casualty marker. This guy doesn't. He just has a worse morale anyways because he's flipped. We still have the penalty for the C number, C3, so they'll both be minus three to their morale for this morale check. And then we also have some bonuses to counteract all that badness. When you have units who are in, quote, morale support range, they get, who are different types of units. If you have AFEs, if you have leaders, if you have three stacking point squads, they add to your morale for the purpose of making morale checks. So, this guy's still three SP, three stacking points, so he will add plus one to this fellow. This fellow is not three SP, he's down to two, just two little figures on there, so he does not add uh, morale to this fellow. This guy over here also does. For the most part, MSR it is does count when, for adjacent hexes and adjacent locations. If they're not accessible, if it's night, there's some times when it doesn't, but for the most part it does. So we're good to go here. So we will make our checks work and choose the order. So we'll choose the guy who doesn't give the bonus first. He is a four. He's going to be minus three for the C3, plus one, two for the two, three SP squads. So a net minus one. He will be a three. And let's, we'll, we'll actually roll for this one. He rolls a nine, so he breaks. This guy is gonna be minus three, minus four for the casualty, so he'll be at a two, plus one, so he'll be at a three. We'll roll for him. The AD also breaks. Life is hard. And that is it for this example. See you on the next one.